Welcome back to the show. Today we have Shah Renee on. She is an author, singer, and songwriter who has a mission to get out God's most important message to the world, repent. She has in the past created the book, If God Had an Email Address, that will give you direction. Her new book series, The Prophet Zone, shows the dreams and it shows the state of the world like 9-11 to Donald Trump, all the way from back then. So let her tell you how the world will change like never before, if you really want to know. So let's hear a little bit more about what prophetic dreams that she is having these days. Welcome back to the show, Shara. Hi, hi, how are you? I had so many dreams. When I was a child, I started to have dreams and they haven't ended since then. Now, who could say that your whole life you've had dreams, but I have. And it's weird, but I never slept. I always had a dream. And there were very important dreams too. Like in, in 2015, I dreamt that I dreamt about Israel and I had no idea that there'd be a war now. And that's something that, I, you know, as a, as a little kid, you would not think that you dream that kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? My father I would be asleep and I'd go downstairs and I'd say, Dad, I had a dream about Ramses. I didn't know who Ramses was. Never heard the name in my life. He said, I want you to go get the Bible. I said, why? He said, you have to, you have to read about Ramses. I said, that's a person? He said, yes, it's really a person. So I, I went and I read up on Ramses and just to see what it was about, right? Yeah. So those are the types of things I dreamt about. You wow, know? very interesting. So this is not your first book. So if God had an email address, tell us, how did you get here? Okay. I did some writing years ago in the 80s, and I had a book out that was more poetry. It was more prophetic. People came and saw me at shows. I was on television. It was, it was a great book. It did well. But then I took my hand at writing more about God. And in this book, it's, it's about God, but a book before this one was about God also. It was more, more to give people guidance on, you know, on God, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting. So you had a book, sorry, you had a dream about 9-11. Can you tell me more about that one? Yes. In my dream, I, I actually saw, and what's funny is my mom told me to sketch everything out. And so since I was an artist, I sketched it out. So from that point on, I sketched every dream. I had a dream of the buildings and the planes going right into the buildings. And in my book, The Prophet Zone, I show the sketches. So it's like proof that I really had the dream, you know? And it was it was really, it was really devastating because my brother came to me and said, Yeah, your dream. I said, I know. Why would God give me something? like this. And at the time, I knew not to give it out or say anything about it. I didn't say anything about it. I didn't tell anyone about it. It was, you know, it was just there. So I have it in the book and people can read about it now. Wow. Okay. And what other dreams have you had that came true? Well, I had a dream about the wall of peace. And in the dream, there was a wall and it said peace on it. And I didn't understand what that meant. I didn't understand that. How would I know as a kid that there would be a wall everybody would be fighting about? That be we'd want peace and, and Donald Trump's the only one that's going to come ahead and he's going to save us by closing that wall. And he even built it. So it's like, how could I dream that years in advance? I don't know, but I, I dreamt it and now I'm telling about it. Yeah, yeah, and we still we still need the wall. It's not it's not been completed yet. So no. Yeah. So okay. Well, what are some dreams you've had that haven't happened yet? Well, I had a dream. Well, I had a dream about the coronavirus. It did happen, but I think there's something coming again, believe it or not. You know, in the coronavirus dream, I had a dream that that I was standing back and I was looking at the people and I was saying, you know, what what is this, you know? And my friend Michael was with me in the dream. 
and he's he's watching me and I'm saying, what is that? And he said, there's a line, there was a line of soldiers forcing people to go into doctor's offices. So that's either a preliminary of the coronavirus wow. or it's the coronavirus after effect. So we don't know if it's coming again, but something they have prepared for us. They wow. really do. Oh, that really makes you think. Wow. <laughs> it does. It really does. Okay. And what are you working on now? Now what I'm doing is I'm working on the book and I'm working on the second book, right? I have a second book that I'm writing that is continuing of this book. And I have more and more and more and more dreams. Like, it's even strange, but I had a dream that Donald Trump was standing in front of an army and there were weapons because he was to fight a war. Now, first of all, I don't know why I dreamt this, but I did. And I'm saying to myself, an army. And he was picking out soldiers and soldiers were flying. They were flying different aircraft. And he was there to select the aircraft. Now, I don't know if he'll be president, but if he is present, he will have to fight a war because we're in many wars now. You know, we're not in in a quiet time. You know, it's 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 funny because the people that don't believe in God, they don't have any idea. They yeah. have no idea what's coming. Yeah. And it's like my job is to tell now the the, the, the rest of my life is here just to tell everybody, look, you gotta wake up. You know, knock, 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 you know, but I have a feeling they're not going to wake up until rapture. When they see everybody falling out of the sky and coming and raising up into the sky, right, and they see people are missing, they're going to wonder what's happening. And then yeah. I'm going to tell them. Yeah, the world is asleep, that's for sure. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, especially the other. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm coughing. That's Okay. Okay, so what should we look out for? Well, I had some really, really bad dreams. And I had a dream, I'll tell you a dream I had about New York. Okay. I had a dream that there's no skyline. Do you know what that means to have no skyline? In a dream, this is a dream I had, someone went by the Empire State Building Another person is by the World Trade Center. And there's a third person as well, by up by the streets that have the Broadway theaters. The three different people involved in this. This is this is just a dream. And they blow it up. Hmm. They blow it up. And how could I dream something like that? I'm praying that doesn't happen. You know, I've had dreams where I've prayed it away. I actually had a dream of um, a girlfriend that was, that her daughter lives in Philadelphia. And I had a dream that we were looking for her. Mm -hmm. And she couldn't find her. And she sent me, later she sent me an article that said there was a, someone in Philly that was missing. And she was missing from the college and she was walking around and she wound up getting kidnapped, wow. which was right near where her daughter was. It was actually in the same restaurant. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to people, you got to look out for tomorrow. We know what it is today, mm -hmm. but you got to look out for tomorrow. But I'm hoping my books will be beneficial in helping people. I really do. Yeah, definitely. So what's next for you? Well... What's next is um, writing the next, the next, getting the next chapters out to the next book. I have about five books in total. Mm -hmm. I, it, I was going to do one whole book, but then I realized it was so big, it made five books. And I have all the writings and everything. So I'm getting ready to release the next one this year. It'll be Profit Zone 2. So watch out for it. Okay. Wow. That sounds great. Is there anything else you want to share with the viewers? I think I'm good. I just think that they have to really pay attention to what's happening. You know, I don't think they're watching. 
And if they are, they're watching just they're watching just what's in front of them, right? Mm -hmm. To watch and see we have a problem with the wall is one thing. What's tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? What's going to happen tomorrow? Mm -hmm. And that's what's important. If they could think of the future, mm -hmm. then they'll have a way to avoid it. Mm -hmm. Do you know? Um, I had a dream that the supermarket shelves were bare. Yeah, that sounds like COVID <laughs> pandemic. Right. And it's not only that, the poor people don't have anything to eat. Yeah. They have to go to a church to get food, to take it to their house to have something to eat. Older people, they don't have food. Same thing. So where we're fine, they're not. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what we have to think about, where they're fine, we're not. I'm not working now. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing my life for the book. I don't know if I told you, but I had three strokes. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking at a person that had three strokes, and I'm fine because God wants me here. God wants me here to do this book, The Prophet Zone. Amen. And I'm I'm gonna do it. There's no way that that, you know, I would be here still. I had three strokes. Yeah. In three different years. So this is my job now. This is it. And let's hope that we can help the world. Well, praise God. Good for you. Well, it was so nice to have you on today. Thank you for sharing this message of hope and encouragement and even a warning as well. Because the Bible says speak the truth in love. So we should speak the truth, but we should do it in love. And we don't yes. want to pamper our society when we know we are in trouble. These are the end times and we need to wake up. So yes. thank you again um, for being on the show, Shah Renee. And we look forward to seeing your books coming out in the future. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you too. Bye. Thank you viewers for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. So we will catch you next week.